want you to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like you. I want you to know me, cause I know then you'll see we can be true, we can be true. I want you to see what I see in us, something so real, something so real. Welcome everybody to the Fetish Fam Coffee with Cyborgs, and we've got um, many of you, four of you, besides mm-hmm. Devin and I, four lovelies, four of the box lovelies, <laughs> keeping Dev and I honest today. Dev says he's not going to keep you for longer than thirty minutes. No, <laughs> we'll see. Honest. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> he says he's got his questions firing, and he's ready. And so we're very happy to connect with you guys. So welcome and thank you, Gina. I hope we keep you and that your internet doesn't, you know, I don't know, go to 56k dialer. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> Were you born when there was 56k dialer? That's only for you and me, Renzo. That's mm. for me. That's <laughs> that noise, that beeping noise. The startup. Yeah, that funny little startup. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah I was also oh. born. <laughs> Oh, okay. Wow. That's if you wake them up at night. Their parents hate we were them. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Put on light there. Ooh, there we go. Bright. Yeah. <laughs> I do have one request that yes. if yes. I touch the computer and tilt it up, if the hole in the ceiling shows, you have to tell me. Because I'm, I get into trouble for that. Rose, like, why are you showing the people you have a hole in the ceiling? <laughs> I was like, I can I see that know. hole there. I what? can see the hole. Never, you can't see the people know. No, we can't. <laughs> no, uh, we can't. You guys don't seconds. even know. Ro made me rehearse this thing and put the computer in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we know. We know the lovely Ro. That's why you're on fire today. Oh, I am. <laughs> okay, so let's kick it off. While Dev's on fire, while you ladies on fire. You know the first question about pizza. Let's go. Pineapple. Pineapple. Winning. Pineapple. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Candy. Candy. Yeah. I said pineapple. Is it pineapple? Pineapple, pineapple Express. I'm the only one. I'm outvoted. I get it. I'm leaving it. <laughs> Matt Fraser, Rich Froning. Matt Fraser. Rich. Who's the new guy? Okay, so Vicky says Matt. Porsche says Rich. Rich is. Candy? Rich. Who's the new guy? <laughs> you guys no. Fail. Fail. <laughs> the, the old one. The other one. Matt. Rich. Uh, rich. Matt. No, oh. Rich. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> A hundred prolapse or oh. 2K time trial running. 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 Um... Either. Both. Oh, Candy, you're just showing off now. Candy, you're yeah. showing <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's an athlete. She is an athlete. She is an athlete. Candy's a beast. Candy's mm-hmm. like, mm. she's like a little pocket rocket beast. <laughs> Apparently, we're all chosen to do this interview because we're all short. So, I don't know, guys. <laughs> the shorties. The high <laughs> So we made it on the ride. We good. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No, no, you gotta be below and, and you guys are below. <laughs> Don't be in this one. Yeah. <laughs> because he's wider. He does not when he gets the wideness. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this would be an absolute dog show if Stompy was on this call. And, uh, you know, look, Dev's not exactly the tallest person I've ever met. And look, I'm not tall either. So, you know, this is the short I'm not episode. the shortest. <clears throat> I am average. <laughs> Dev, I would never call you average. <laughs> in height. Maybe in height. mediocre, but not average. Da, cuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, who makes the best coffee in the box? Martin or Martin. Dev? Martin. Mm. Martin. Mm. I'll go with my co Dev. Thank you. Mm. Thank Osha, you're not going to get less burpees. I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> mm. I'm I'm I'll go I'm for Devin as well. He always makes me coffee in the morning. Mm. Thank you. Candy. And it's a good one. Ooh, a good Americano. Martin. Yeah. <laughs> 
sorry, my turn. See when we get back, ladies, who's making your coffee? Deb, you never make us coffee. The lies. <laughs> Deb, you always <laughs> give me a true. double, so it's like too much for me. <laughs> I love you. Giving Gina the shakes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and Gina's like, Deb, I'm shaking at work. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is dying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so on the, on on the topic of of drinking and shaking, tequila or jägermeister? Tequila. Tequila. Oh Ooh, yes. Yeah, no, no, above or below for me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, pee. <laughs> what did you say? But one day I'll try a tequila. Mm, Christmas party, I'll sort you out. But don't worry, Captain Tequila. Don't worry, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Porsche, you you know what? You should actually do it on your own in a safe environment. <laughs> do the Christmas party. Yeah, don't do the Christmas party. Ease into it. No, have a couple of shots on your own at home. Just clean up there. Try out. Yeah. <laughs> you can cry. You can sort of dance around in your underwear. Just do it on your own in a sick place. But that's what happens that at the Christmas party. Huh? That's what you want to do. That's when what you're happens alone. at the Christmas party, Devon. You can compose yourself. <laughs> you're alone. It's with your closest hundred friends, Candy. Uh, <laughs> Look, Devon is is giving good advice here because he's learned the hard way. So, yeah. Mm. Listen, we've had some okay. bad ones. No, yeah, don't worry. No, you speak like it's for it's like it's over, like it's never going to happen again, Dev. Never know. Tonight, Cyril will tell us. Uncle <laughs> <Call> Cyril. <laughs> you may go to lockdown uh, stage 16. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, what's your spirit animal? Ooh, Vix. Shetland pony. Oh, oh word. Put the whole yeah. thing. <laughs> Why? Because it's not tall. It's got attitude. So yeah, yeah they, do, they do, they do, and they bite, and they're not. It's got good hair. Fuckers. I mean, look, see, same oh, yeah. Yeah. It's true. Same, same. They also live the best same, same. life. Oh, they do. They live the best life. Just in the pastures, just on some grass. It's cool. It's cruising. <laughs> Speaking of, um, no, no, we'll, we'll park the grass for later. So, so <laughs> but, but, but chicken ponies, they, I mean, they, they're also a bit nasty, though. They, they can be real little shits. They are, you saying, they, are you saying, are you basically <laughs> describing me? No, I'm asking. I'm not describing. No, no, no. Because I do have a little bit of a bat. Oh, I, I figured. Got that pep in yeah, no, I figured. Okay. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We can't watch it. It's good. I bring the heat when I need to. That's what I like to hear. Okay. So Shetland Pony, because it brings the heat and it's got good hair. I don't and know about good hair. Cute little hoofs. Little, like, cute little hoofs. Yeah. yeah. They okay. can dance well too. All around her. <laughs> okay. Osha? Um, I'll say, um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe lime. A what? Lime. Ah, oh, okay. Lime. Yes. A lion. Okay. Noise. Noise. Cool, 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 cool. Candy? Why? Um, yeah, why a lion? A I will say a dolphin. I like water. Okay. Also, probably friendly <laughs> suits my personality. Because and um, <laughs> and and also research has shown that they're also in tune with with emotions and I think really? that oh. it's not like me. Yeah, and they're very Can intelligent you, animals. The, the, don't be scientific now. Don't be being psychologist. Yeah, dolphin. Uh, okay. I like the water, so yeah. Nice, there you go. Yeah. It's nice, Candy. <laughs> and they like to play. Oh, dolphins. Mm. They like to play. And they're very <laughs> naughty. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm a <laughs> Gina, Gina. I want to say a tiger. Ooh, a tiger. I want me back up yeah. a tiger when I'm loose. Because they're like magnificently <coughs> poised, but they have a dark side. So I like that. Ooh. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, wait, I want to show you somebody. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
This is Ruan. This is Ruan. Check his face, Ruan. <laughs> this is Ruan. Oh no. And Missy. Yeah, Mrs. is here too. She's here too. Come. Ah, uh, my baby. <laughs> Come. Up there. Oh, she's gone. Anyway, she's gone. Okay, that's it. Okay, bye, Missy. Okay. So, Tiger. <laughs> But ti yeah, tigers are big. Gina, you're not big. I know, I know, but yeah. maybe a little fox then. A fox? Ooh, a fox, Gina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's a little. laughs> I can see Gina as a fox. <laughs> fox. Reincarnation, <laughs> fox. <laughs> yeah. Do you know, we were driving in London um, a few years ago, and uh, late at night, we were coming back from uh, my brother's wedding, actually. And so we're driving through suburban London, uh, middle of the night, and all of a sudden, Marilee shouts out in the car. She says, Dossi Yuckles! Dossi Yuckles! <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> and this fox is running across the road in the middle of London. Cute. <laughs> yeah. Baby foxes, it's a thing. Okay, cool. So, you guys yeah. all warmed up? Ready for Dev? Really? Yeah, so you have to answer I'm fast. Eh? So you, you can't think about it. And this is what I thought would made our things longer last time. You have to answer quickly. Nice. Okay, so you got to be quick on it <clears throat> because it, it's probably the best one. Do we we'll get start, a buzzer? We'll start, ooh, <laughs> we'll start with, <laughs> we're going to start with Gina. Gina. Why don't we call a friend? <laughs> yeah, you Three no, last You're not, not going to be a millionaire at the end of this one, Vicky, sorry. Yeah. Never know. Maybe not this year, but like in, in 70 years when they watch these videos, they'll be like, okay, cool. So you will. When we got it, what is the biggest life lesson you've learned? Fast. Oh, Lord. And honest. Oh. No long thinking. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. And why would you say that? Fast. Because it does. Like, if you, if you want to do something and you rush it, and you, because you think you, it's something that you need to do, and then it doesn't work out, you, you see afterwards why it didn't work out and you're like okay cool that was a good thing it was a i don't know dev and this is hard no no, no 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 gina i don't gina, know how to gina, answer it <laughs> wait 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 yes. that's brilliant let me add let me add to that let me add to that everything happens for a reason but only if you're prepared to learn the lesson so whenever something yeah. happens you got to look did it work why didn't it work why what can i what lesson can i learn from this <laughs> then <laughs> then it and it happened for a reason Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Thank so yeah, everything happens for a reason. Cool. I've got, got you, Gina. Got nice. You. Candy. Um, I think for me is you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. So treat people um, like the way you would want to be treated. Ooh. Nice. Cool. Nice. Portia? Um, for me, I would say that... Um, you can achieve whatever you put your mind into. That's the biggest lesson that I've learned. Put your mind into something, you, you will achieve it. Thank you. Um, I'd say slowly still gets you there. Nice. Okay, we're going I think, in. Yep. I, I, think, I think you four are just like, you're like taking this to a whole new level. I like that. That's really good. Oh, we will come back on some of them. We will come back on them. Uh, in reverse order, best advice given that somebody gave to you. Same question. That's the same answer. But no, reverse order. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be deep. It could just be read the bubble gum thing. Throw your spice after. Your <laughs> Throw your own spice. Oh. Throw your, throw your spice on your two minute Shampoo noodles. bottle. Yes. What? <laughs> yeah. So some good advice that I was always given and I never ever share was like, when you make two minute noodles, wait for the noodles to dry. And once you drain all the water off, then you put the spice. That is <laughs> solid advice. Like, let me tell you, that is shit hot advice. When you're a bachelor and you're eating boring food, that's good advice. 
Vic, I just want to say thank. I just want to say thank God for her. That's all I got to say. Right? <laughs> yeah. Linda, that is amazing advice. Let me tell you, when you eat your two minute noodles like that, it will change your life. Oh my God! It's that shit, bro. That that shit. That that's mm, that's radioactive rubbish. Mm, Do you not on. talk bad about two minute noodles now that you? Ah, oh, you're the pineapple on pizza guy. I'm taking no food advice from you. Winning no, Neville. So. This is the pineapple game. Right? Yeah, Renzo. Oh, you know, this is, this is... Now that you've made it, you've changed. You know you ate two minute noodles. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Best advice. Vix. Best advice. Hmm. If it comes, then it comes. If it goes, then it goes. That's too deep bullshit. Give me the that is answer. No, that's the truth. No, no it's the honest Vicky, truth, you No, yes. seriously, it's the honest truth. Okay, fair don't, enough. Don't chase after stuff. Just let it come, let it stay, let it go, let it go. Okay, fair enough. Porsche? Uh, the great advice is that I must never underestimate myself. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ooh, so to good. never underestimate myself. You ladies are shooting the lights out here. Yeah, yo, so deep. <laughs> I feel like you guys rehearsed this. Candy? Uh, listen to understand. Uh, don't listen, not listening to reply. Nice. Oh, that one is deep. That's I actually have that speech on my phone. Gina, I have oh, it in, in the folder. You know the one that I say for yes. the deep one? The ones that's, in your little backpack. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool, Candy. I like that. Gina? Yeah, man. Pure heart, strong body. Mm. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's from you. I mean, <laughs> Devin, you don't get any royalty payments for being quoted. Okay, I'm just saying. Even if Vicky becomes a millionaire. Hey, listen. The way I see that this is video logs, they may become really, really worthwhile. It, like Gino, Renzo, you guys putting this up on the YouTube thing where you can make money. On don't forget YouTube. that. Guys, <laughs> next question. For the so before the box got a microwave, I remember walking into the box and Devin was warming up some chicken. And the way he used to warm the chicken up was by, pour, by pouring boiling water onto his food to chicken warm the rice. chicken up. It yeah. was the worst thing I've ever seen. And I told Ro, I no, think the next day dry. there was a microwave. No, that's how you heated up his food. You put boiling water on it and then you soaked it off. That's disgusting. It was, it was, rice, and, it was rice and chicken breast. Oh, no. no it and and who gave it, you that you advice? Then you threw it off. Dev. Dev. Awful. Who, yes, who gave you that advice? It was yes, gold Mark orientated. Kippy. Yes, Mark it was Kippy boiling Dev. chicken. It was hot. I know, Vicky, these people oh. are just judging me. They don't yeah. understand. They're not chefs. It's fine. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. <laughs> It was goal oriented. I needed to have warm chicken to eat. So I just put hot water on it through the water. And then you made a chicken, chicken stock as well. Yeah. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Can drink oh, come on, Vicky. No, you, no. you're oh. really stretching now. No, you. you mm. Mm. Thanks for that, guys. guys. You guys are just, you know what? No, like some chicken soup. Dev, yeah. I just want to say for this. For the soul. I just want to say this, yeah. Devin. I love you and Ro, bro, but please don't ever invite me for dinner to your house. Um, Rather come yeah, to my don't... house and I'll cook. That was when I, I was not like, we at the box and there was no microwave and it was a bad day. Okay. <laughs> bad day. <laughs> Look, I trust Ro, oh, but you, mm, no, you must never cook for me, Dev. Oh man, I can, I have a Weber now, so the Weber's been working like a dream. <laughs> no, so when you're trying to warm up your coals, do you pour hot water on your coals? No, that only works for the chicken <laughs> rice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, that's, you know what I'm saying. So, here's another one, not a deep one. If you could go back in time and learn a skill, what would it be? Let's go. Portia. Oh, I want to answer this. Um, okay, can, Candy. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gonna say Porsche. This is from from Gogo. She's that was a cool one. She wanted to learn how to sword fight. I was like, "Fuck, that is so cool." What? Whoa! Yeah. No deep That's stuff. Dangerous. What did you do? I I always say if if I was uh, uh, young again, um, I would want to learn gymnastics from a very young age mm. instead of swimming. Candy's, Candy's a badass mm. athlete. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> God. 
<laughs> Candy no hands and walks would make a big difference for us. I feel you. Mm, okay. I know, yeah. <laughs> and we'd also have like abs. We'd just have the abs because I feel like gymnasts just have abs anyway. <laughs> and they have carbs. They have abs and carbs. This is good truth. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Gina? Porsche. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, this isn't ping pong. Okay, the skill that I would I would learn if I was young, it would be um, I really so, don't know. Maybe swimming. You go back in time. Swimming. There we yes, go. Yes, swimming. Uh, <clears throat> Candy can teach you. She taught Kaya how to swim. Nice. And and that's trying to teach. I mean that that's just trying to teach. Well, I mean, how do you teach Kaya anything? <laughs> <laughs> Ask Candy. Ask Candy. If I can, I can learn how to swim, anyone can learn how to swim. Anyone can learn how to swim. <laughs> Candy, I mean, Vix? I would like to have learned contemporary dancing. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I love it. I get mesmerized watching it. That's cool. Mm. Okay, I've got one. Yes. I want to be a pilot. Nice. Learn how to fly. You see, now you play. Go, go befriend Lucy. <laughs> Yeah, you could do that. You could do that. So, this is where it gets deep. Why don't oh, you no. do it now? Oh, God. I don't <laughs> have money for that. Mm-hmm. Gina, you don't have money? Candy? I'm doing it now. I'm doing CrossFit. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. Learning the school. Portia, what's your story? Lockdown, Dev. Lockdown. I can't see that one, Portia. Six or nine. <laughs> Vix? I guess I could go to classes. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair, you could do it now. You could do it, you could do it, yeah. you could do it on a YouTube channel. I mean, I'm aging classes. backwards, so it's, it could work. Yes, yeah, you see, you could do it now. <laughs> you could do it in your, in your living room now with, your, with YouTube and Masterclass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put on some tights like a full leotard and just, just like. You know you get those. You know you get those memes where it says what you think you look like versus what you actually look like. <laughs> yeah. That'd be me. So Vex, let me just tell you. Here's the secret. You just make sure mm. there's no video evidence, because they uh-huh. in your head you will just be like fucking amazing. Oh, pony. I need a video so I can make something in the moonshot. So oh, you just pretend like you're doing it. Fucking badass. You just be like. Yeah, no, but I mean, it'll it'll be it'll be contemporary dance wannabe, but it'll in fact be just Vix's interpretive dance. Interpretive dancing, like when I get drunk. <laughs> well, in that case, then I am a great interpretive dancer. <laughs> Dev, I'm, I'm, hmm. I've when got so much. You know. I, you know. I've, got, I've got photo evidence of you, <laughs> and in fact, there's video evidence of you. <laughs> in Thailand, in the street. In Thailand, yeah. So, I, I, mean, I rest my case. <laughs> when I was me, I'm a great fucking That dog. was after you ate how many 50 scorpions or you... Yeah. I ate one scorpion for 800 bucks. What? <laughs> yeah. No wonder you were dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poor Magic life scorpions. Choices. Yeah, poor life choices. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk dead is not wise with good like doesn't make wise decisions. <laughs> so next so, one. Worst advice. Yeah. Worst advice. Given you get that like, was given to you and that you passed on or had given. Doesn't have to be the same advice. Did you confusing me? <laughs> so you the advice that was given to you and advice that you gave to somebody else. The worst, worst advice. I and then why? So, oh, so finish why the and then yeah. yeah, very simple. Finish the sentence. Worst advice ever. Yeah. For me, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought the Wi-Fi was again. <laughs> worst advice is give, actually giving advice because most Danny, people. you better be careful because you're a psychologist. Anyway. So. Mm. That's, so again, that's what I really believe, though. Again? The worst advice is actually giving advice to people because oh. most people are going to do different. what they want to do anyway. 
Yeah. They're not going to listen to you yes. until they really are, until they want to, yeah, ready to, yeah. They, so mm-hmm. for me, the worst advice is giving advice. Ooh. Mm, it's a good spirit tip. Mm, it's very you good. Should huh? learn your pipe and smoke Candy, it. I feel like you should make a t-shirt. <laughs> Gina? I don't know, Dev. Hmm, Gina, come on. You watched all of these episodes. <laughs> exactly. And this is the question that I still couldn't answer. I Somebody must know. have told you, and, and, and it doesn't have to be deep. Somebody could have just given you shit advice. Turn left. I, don't oh, know. I should have went right. <laughs> well, putting hot, hot milk in tea, like frothy hot milk. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, Mm-mm. that's the worst. That only goes in coffee. Yo, Gina, I feel like See, that is. Tea how is did you cold even milk. follow that advice? They did it. <laughs> drank it. <laughs> and then I realized. <laughs> I'm judging you now. Now I'm judging you. No, how can you judge? Yeah, you did that. There was no milk and there was only a frothy milk that you had just poured and you were like, just put in your tea. Mm. Did I give you that? It was like a cup of tea. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. There, there's, there, is red, there is red cappuccinos that are not bad. Uh, you see? Tastes like this fish. is true. This is true. It's like fish. Dev, yeah, Dev, but, but you, can't, you can't judge, bro, because the worst advice ever I've had was on this call right now where you said, oh, take hot water and pour it over your chicken. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying? Worst advice ever. Know. <laughs> you know, if you don't have a microwave one day and you have to eat frozen chicken, I will hear what you have. <laughs> then I will wait. I will, I will wait until it defrosts and then I'll eat it cold. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. I want to see this. One. <laughs> in, in lockdown, if your microwave fucks out and you have to do, you are in shit. Yeah, wait. Then I'm bringing my food to your house. Oh, then I'll have to pour hot <laughs> water over it. <laughs> <laughs> you will. That's the thing. Uh, yeah. Vix? Maybe. Asking the locals for directions. <laughs> and they take one look at you go, get lost. Go that way. Right. I always get lost. Yeah. Depends on it's like you on pass the, the blue house, don't pass the, the green house. No. Oh, yeah. This this is yeah. Hmm. Portia? Um, I can't think of any. But there is this one, I don't know if it was a good or bad advice, but when we uh, we were doing the what, one of the days, and then Jen told me to use a 20 kettlebell instead of 60. And after that, (laughs) I was feeling, I was sore the whole day, the following day. See, that is is legit bad advice. (laughs) You know what I'm saying, Porsche? That is, that is, that is, you should, you should kick Jan in the shit. Like, that is terrible. <laughs> that can't go horribly wrong. You know what I mean? When you're looking yeah. to the clock for help, you're like, God, please let the clock move. <laughs> when you look up and only 30 seconds has gone by the 20 minute hand wrap, you're just like, oh God, I'm, I'm actually going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Oh, yeah. And, then, and it and then, was just a 15 minute word. Yeah. <clears throat> And nice. then the coach asks, like, how many rounds did you do? And everybody's like, seven, seven, seven. And you're like, how many did you do? Two, two. <laughs> 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 you just feel bad. Then you're like, <clears throat> man, I know, Portia, I feel you. I, I feel you. <laughs> That's happened to me before. I'm just, you're just like, I should have just listened to my dad. Never have done that. Wow. That is legit. I like that for sure. Wow. Bugger these badass people. Oh. <laughs> anyway, Renzo. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna do this popcorn style, right? Because it's a it's an imam. So every minute on the minute, I'm gonna fire out a question. Got to be quick. Everybody's got to answer. So popcorn style is when you're hot, you pop. When you're hot, when you got the answer, you answer. Yes. What, what is your greatest achievement? 
and last one crosswords and what? Ever. Whatever. Ever. Confidence. <laughs> Confidence. Lovely. Uh, Staying at crossword fetish for me. <laughs> <laughs> for me is uh, following my 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 career dream. Awesome. Okay. I would Katie? say the same. Uh, yeah, getting into masters and pursuing my psychology career. Lovely. <clears throat> I would say moving across the world and teaching in front of a whole lot of people that don't understand you when you have such a fear of public speaking. Does <laughs> that help that they don't yeah, understand Gina. you? So you can just stay <laughs> <laughs> and go. So probably uh, Awesome. awesome. <laughs> I feel like that would be an opportunity for good advice too, Gina. Just giving people advice that can't understand. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, those were the answers, right? Confidence, choosing my career, Porsche, you and Candy, and Gina, moving around the world and standing up and teaching. Facing your fears. <laughs> facing your fears, mm. yeah. So, here's a follow-on question for all of you. What did you learn about yourself in that? So, Vicky, if, if you found confidence, what did you learn about yourself in that? That everything is not as scary as you make it out to be. <laughs> That's awesome. That's legit. Good. Who else? Come on. Um, I think for me is uh, <clears throat> when I was small, I had a lot of uh, like learning problems. I went in OT and whatnot. And I remember the, the OT telling my mom that I would never get into university. So I think for me is uh, not letting others define what you can, can and can't do. So, you know, even though they said to my family that, that I would never get into university and whatnot, I still managed no. to... Uh, pursue and get into masters and to oh, yeah fine. so i think that's it for me yeah and you need to take a picture like this and send it back <laughs> yeah. to I, I wish with, i could yeah with your, with your, with your, with your <laughs> master's thing and just be like <laughs> yeah, yeah. i'm just holding it <laughs> yeah I'm holding it like this just with your fingers on top of it be like, oh, <laughs> what does it send you this thank you Okay, uh, for me, I think. Um, oh, we've lost Gina. What I've, huh? We lost Gina. You carry lost on, Gina. don't worry. Yeah. She'll be okay. back on now. Uh, what I've learned is that uh, the only thing standing between me and achieving my goal is myself. That's amazing. No, for sure. That's so what, what is the greatest setback that you faced in your life? Hmm. Yo, Renzo, I didn't Yo Renzo, we're getting deep. <laughs> you, you came with the deep today. <laughs> I've been sitting with these questions, but I never have time to ask them. It's so awesome. Hmm. Nice. You ladies are on fire. And Dev, mm, you must be like this every time. I'm new. I know now. Two extra coffees before the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Before you answer that question, Gina's not back. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> So what's your greatest setback? Hmm. Just put the top one. Gina's back. Um, Gina back. Is it matter? Is it more fun? Yeah, yeah. No. So Gina, <laughs> what, did, go, what go. was your greatest <laughs> learning about yourself? Um, what did you learn about yourself in your achievement? That getting out of your comfort zone is important and amazing and that you can do it. Yes. Can I ask you can I ask you to do me a favor? Yes. Can you say again exactly what you just said, but say it like in the first person? That I can get out of my comfort zone. It is possible. Mm. How does it feel when you say it like that as opposed to when you get out of your comfort zone? Um, I don't know. Does it feel different or does it feel It feels same? different, yeah. Like I can't say that. <laughs> so Gina, I'm just going to say we, we didn't like quiet Gina. We really like talking to Gina. Way <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. I got that. 
<laughs> they've, they've, you've made that point. The, the lurky Gina was weird. Like we just thought she was a little bit strange. The lurky <laughs> Gina. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was going uh, through something that was unhappy, bad mood, Gene. I wasn't lurky. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I For everybody at Fetish who's watching this, please don't feel judged by Dev. It's just a weak moment on his part. No, myself and Gina have a great relationship. So when we build a it's relationship cool. with, the, with the people who come, and if they do put enough time in, then we can. Now, this is a video log for the future. You never know. This is going to be that thing they find when they find you get out of lockdown. This is why I'm trying to cure people because right now you could have just broken people in half. No way. When they come out okay, of listen, lockdown in, in 2075. Listen. The question, Gina, while you, while you hmm. uh, were rejoining the call was, what is the greatest setback you faced in your life? Ooh. Has everyone answered that? Mm. No. No. <laughs> We're so stuck. <laughs> We're waiting for you. I'm <laughs> so happy that you connected. <laughs> oh, Welcome. Welcome. Gina Torte. <laughs> uh, just thinking. Sure. I could go very deep, but I won't. Do it. Well, let, me, let, me, let me help you. Let me help you. <laughs> So, I mean, just to kick things off, right? And then and, and Gina, you know, goes deep as you choose to. For me, it was uh, around, hmm, I, I've given away my age on the last call. So, uh, it was around 1998 when uh, I closed my first business. And, uh, and I was bankrupt up in Joburg. And I took a job down here in Durban. And I was driving down to Durban in my bucky with my bed on the back and nothing else. And I had to completely restart my life down here in Durban. And I had zero, nothing. zero, zero, zero. That was, that was my biggest setback. It was the first time I closed the business. It wasn't the last. <laughs> yeah. But then didn't you learn something from that? So it just made I did, but that's question number two. Oh, that's sorry. the follow-up question. <laughs> that's the follow-up question, you know? <laughs> so that was my greatest care. setback. I had, to, I had to leave Daniel behind, my eldest son. He was five at the time. I had to leave him behind for three months. I didn't see him. And, uh, and completely rebuilt my life from zero. Okay, who's next? Hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, I feel like that was, that's pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah, you learned things. I learned a lot. <clears throat> Probably me trying to start, like, like what Dylan was saying, Durban... In South Africa, the, the coffee industry is so small. You're trying to start a coffee business here is really hard. Like when you see it in Asia, it's booming. <clears throat> so when you try and bring that down here and there isn't really a culture, it's really hard. And then, yeah, that, that can set you back a lot. So like I spent all my money that I saved there. And then for about a year, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do when I got back home. And yeah, I got very depressed. So then, I, yeah, that, that was kind of also when I was a little bit desperate. So I kind of walked into that travel, being a travel agent. And I was like, can I have this oh. job? I got it. Thank God for social lab. Job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Who's um, next? Candy. I'll go. I think for me, um, it would have to be when I was in my university days. Um, I was very close to my grandfather. He was like my father figure throughout my life. And he was diagnosed with cancer. And I found that um, very, very hard to cope with. And <clears throat> got, it got to a point where I, I myself was quite depressed and like failing university. So, you know, that was quite a difficult time in my life and you know obviously with the I think the following question I learned a lot about myself so I think for me that was my biggest setback awesome thank you Candy not okay, awesome, I'll awesome. Go. thank you for sharing <laughs> <laughs> I'll go uh, for me it was two years ago when my mother was diagnosed with a brain tumor and then it got so bad that uh, she started forgetting everything, forgetting even my me, forgetting everyone in the family. So that was like 
the biggest setback for everyone at home. So, yeah. That's tough. That's tough. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> so, big. Mm. I was going to go deep, but I don't want it. <laughs> Come um, on, Vicky. No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you do you, do no. you, Vicky. You do you. I'd say for me, the biggest setback would be growing up without dad. So that's kind of led to other things like depression, which got the better of me. But um, yeah, what I learned from that was that I can cope with having people around me that love me. And um, that's sometimes why my guard is up a lot of the time because it takes a lot for me to mm. trust people. But um, yeah, I think actually, thankfully, I think fetish has broken down a lot of those walls, to be honest. Um, no, seriously, in all honesty, it has. And um, yeah, it's just learning to cope with that and um, being around people that love you. That's awesome. Awesome. That's really cool. So that's Vicky, what we're here for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I mean, that's, that's Dev's vision for, for <laughs> fetish is that people, people heal on some yes. level. Absolutely. So on which, yeah. Good job. So, last question, and then we're going to start wrapping up. And you've already started going there, all of you. What did you learn about yourself? So, in my instance, what I learned about myself is it doesn't matter how broken I think I am, I've still, there's still much, so much, op- well, wow, can't speak. There's still so much opportunity. Um, you just got to look for it. Yeah. And, and actually, and if I add, that is serving me so well right now with COVID-19. Because even with everything, I'm still, well, there's opportunities. So how, do I, how do I figure it out? So that's what I learned about myself. What did you guys learn about yourselves? Hmm, pretty much the same. Yeah, and learning to accept the small victories. That's a big one. Um, sometimes I get a little bit... Ego takes over, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think for me, it's just learning to accept the small victories and um, starting when you need to start also. Um, one of the things is like, for instance, starting my side hustle is Amanda said to me, she's like, Fix, why don't you just start? And I was like, well, because I'm fearful. And um, she was like, no, just do it. And yeah, just to start, do it. If you fail, you fail. Move on. Yeah. Um, I think for me is, um, you know, literally hitting rock bottom. You, you learn a lot about yourself, you know, uh, and, you know, it helped me also uh, go into the career that I'm in. You know, we, we often call the wounded healers. You know, I've, I've had a lot of life experience and I think that has added to me and my value as a person it's very much shaped uh, my career and I'm able to empathize, etc., with people. And <clears throat> yeah, I've learned that it's, it's okay to not be okay sometimes. Mm-hmm. You don't always have to be, um, you know, 100% if, if you're having a down day, you know, that's, it's normal. Um, yeah, so I think you can learn a lot about yourself in your darkest times. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I've also learned <coughs> going into your darkest times is also important for you to start again and go in a different direction. Like if someone asks me, what is your five-year goal plan? I never know how to answer that because it's always changing. Like I have from these past few years, I've changed like careers that I wanted to do. And I thought I wanted to go one way and it didn't work out. So I go another way and that's okay. And you just figure out from there and you can go in and out of happiness and depression, meet new people and, Absolutely. Yeah, that's okay. And, and yeah, fetish has changed that. It's like a space that you feel comfortable and happy and you always want to go to. And I think everyone misses the box and the people the, the most in this lockdown. Yeah, yeah I, definitely, I definitely think the boxes for me, it's <clears> given <throat> that, that, that sense of family, you know. Um, yes, I have a family, but, you know, times we're not always the closest and I definitely feel that fetish has provided that sense of community, mm-hmm. sense of family. Um, yeah, that's there's cool. kind of lifelong friends that I've made. I think that's Absolutely. helped me even cope within the profession I am, you know, in, etc. I think, you know, 
if it wasn't for crossword fetish, I don't know where I would be. <laughs> well, I, I mean, uh, just to add to that, <laughs> yeah. uh, but I mean, just so I moved away from Durban after my original, and then and then I came back uh, three years ago, uh, just over three years ago, and and the first thing I did was find a box when I moved down to Durban from uh, from Pretoria, <coughs> and I found fetish, mm -hmm. and my closest friends now, and for Marily mm -hmm. and I, our closest friends are people that we met through fetish. Yeah. Like, Same true. with us. When yeah. we moved back, Brody was the one, who, <coughs> his mission was to find a box and he went around all the boxes and fetish mm -hmm. was the one he chose. So like, cool, this is cool. And then I was like, okay, cool, I'm going to start. I started now all of my closest friends are from fetish and it's the reason why I, I don't want to move away anymore. I used to hate Durban. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, so boring. I just want to travel. And now I'm okay with staying here. I'm like, oh, now I'm going to even, like, miss everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know, yeah. I've had conversations with Marilee about, about <laughs> immigrating and, and, you know, going to live in other places in the world because we can. And then we both look at each other and go, but fetish. But what about yeah, fetish? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fetish with us. I used to be like, yo, let's go. And now I'm like, oh, don't want to hear it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 that's, uh, that's, that's, that is what the box is about that's why we want it that's why we keep it that's why like all of these things we do is going to be based on we're going to be around forever mm. long after mm. we so I so basically you're saying we're all chained yeah. to Durban thanks Brie. no we will make it work <laughs> and, we'll make it. and there's always it will always be here like it, it's that's what it's about like because for me the toughest thing will, that the worst thing that I think I've been through has been I've been in a toxic relationship before and I also came to Durban and then like I still, I was in it, but I, I'd left it physically, but I was still sort of long distancey. And the one thing that saved me was joining a CrossFit box and we did it and then it changed my life drastically and we opened the box. I mean, and everything happened. And, and that's why, like I think of it as a healing center. It must be that. Mm. So like, like I said, all these things, and I joke about this being a video log, but like this is going to be around for long after we arrive. Like when people look back and we can look back at this when we're all old and decrepit then they'll be like yeah i remember that guy he was there <laughs> then it was the crazy old guy because they'll have to drag my old cold dead body out of the box oh my god okay i mean but that's what it is for and that's that's why we want it and that's what i want from it and now make sure that we we around for for as long as we can be or, or will be. I think we've got to get back to writing on the wall because those who started mm. in the beginning used to write on the wall there. And we need to get back onto that. So like, yeah. you know, like a, like a naughty school child, when you go into an old school, they're like, Devin was you know, here. Was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, who the hell is Devin? <laughs> 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 And put the That's day. actually a thing. <laughs> yeah. At my old school, there's a clock tower and uh, and the matrix before they before they leave school. So in that last third of the year, they break into the school at night and into the clock tower, and uh, they they leave something up in the clock tower. So whether it's a memento, part of their uniform, or they write something, or they leave a letter. And uh, I saw a video once. Somebody took a, a, a cell phone up there and videoed in there. And the school's very old. And uh, it's 100 and I think 20. Oh, wow. And uh, you must see cool. this stuff in there. It's unbelievable. So, Dev, there's an idea for you. Build a clock tower and then we'll. No, no never mind. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> get, we'll get right, a time look. capsule. We'll put a time capsule in the floor. <laughs> Let's just make it. <laughs> <God. laughs> yeah, this is the new. <laughs> Otherwise, we might have to bury Stompy in the, in the time capsule. Uh, Aaron and his abs. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's wrap up. Who wants to go first? Okay, Candy. Breakfast, oats <laughs> or eggs? Oats. All right. Uh, assault bike or burpees? Burpees. <laughs> Jason Momoa or Chris Hemsworth? I don't know the first person, so I have to be Chris Hemsworth. Aquaman. Aquaman, Aquaman. Aquaman or Thor? Uh, Better Aquaman. Deal. Aquaman. Aquaman. <laughs> okay. There you go. Uh, if you were stuck on a desert island, 
and you could bring one piece of music with you, what would it be? I've been trying to think of an answer for that. I like all music, so anything. Hmm, no. yeah. I'm going to nominate you on my Facebook challenge tomorrow. <laughs> but what about, what if you could take one thing, what would it be, Candy? Probably a book to write on to keep me sane. <laughs> music, <laughs> Candy, <laughs> music. <laughs> She doesn't no, have music, music so uh, anything else. I like any music. That's fair. Can't think of book. one. No, I'm going to take a thing. If there was another choice, I'll take a book. Such a psychologist. Mm. I'll write my feelings down. Yeah, yeah I'll write my feelings down. <laughs> Bury it and you can find, find the book. <laughs> I feel yeah. like we've got another, um, another uh, <laughs> Tom Hanks screaming at Wilson, the, the, the boy. Oh, yeah. On the island because he's lost his mind because he didn't even have music. <laughs> what was the other? What there's an the older movie called? than that, Renzo. What's it called? That Tom Hanks's Tom Hanks's movies. What's the name of Tom Hanks's movie where he talks to the Wilson? Castaway. In the mist. So, no, that is Castaway. What he's talking Cast about. Castaway. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. What about That's so? What is the, the what's the other one called? Robinson Crusoe. Oh Lord, I don't know, Dave. I'm not that old. Mm, 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 mm. Gina, no you on No cult, no culture. <laughs> no culture. This was Family <laughs> Robinson. I don't know. Oh. All right. Um, mm. Would you rather give up sex or do thrusters mm. every day with a fifty kilo weight? <laughs> I can't do thrusters thrusters. with a 50 kilo weight. <laughs> this is the person who runs before CrossFit, comes to CrossFit, then comes back in the afternoon and does more CrossFit. I know. I can't do thrusters. <laughs> well, then how oh, can you have yeah. sex? All right, we're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. I think that was a trick question. Oh. Who's next? I'll go. <laughs> Okay, Vex. Oats or eggs? Eggs. The salt bike or burpees? Burpees. Vikings or the last kingdom? Vikings. You were stuck on a desert island. You could bring only one No, I've got a different question for you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck with the, fr with the fried eggs? <laughs> okay. This is a public service announcement. <laughs> Seeing that I chose the eggs. <laughs> Pardon? Um, so yes, if you have, yeah, exactly. if, I, if I send you fried eggs emoji, it means that you are bringing the sizzle sizzle. Uh -huh. ah. Yes. Ah, okay. Now we all know. Now you know. Yep. Yeah. It's the equivalent of sending a flame. <laughs> Big fire. You know? Big fire. <laughs> Big sizzle. Big sizzle, I like it. Mm. Now I need a would you rather. And as I said at the beginning of this, Amanda, still waiting. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I can make them up, but not as well as you, Amanda. Beep, beep. <laughs> I'm just going through my... I, mm. Mm. We'll come back. I'm going to think of a bad would you rather for everybody. Renzo mm. asked the other questions. Mm. Okay, go. Dev, we'll do that. Who's next? Oh. Me? I'll go. Okay, Portia. Oats or eggs? Yep. Eggs. Yes. Salt bike or burpees? Burpees. <laughs> Modern family or friends? Oh, friends. Friends. Definitely mm. friends. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> If you were stuck on a desert island, what one piece of music, you know, music. Yeah. <laughs> they don't get it. So I know, but you know, I know you. So what but, piece of music? Uh, does, does an audio book qualify as music? <laughs> hey, that is a valid question. That is, that valid. is a valid question. It's very valid. It's all oh. valid. Renzo, I feel like we, you need a left of songs. That is a valid question. Season, season, class. Yeah? <laughs> right. Portia, it only counts if you sing the words to yourself. <laughs> well, um, an audiobook. Which one? Um, anything by Jojo Mice. 
All right. Mm hmm. Mm. Dev, that's why would you rather better be good because mm. these ladies. <laughs> All right, thank you, Gina. Yes. Let's go. What's your eggs? Eggs. A salt pack of burpees. Burpees. <laughs> Narcos or Sons of Anarchy? Obviously, Sons of Anarchy. I mean, <laughs> I don't even watch Narcos, so it's not a really, it's not really fair. <laughs> How far are you in Sons, Gina? Dev, they, I told you I'm not a one series person, so like I'm on, on five at the moment. I'm on season three, I'm hearing, but I'm, I'm on hearing five a lot of series stories. at the same time. Five <laughs> series? How are you watching five series? Jesus. I get bored. Sure. You need to commit to that. Part of your growth is committing to one thing. Just commit and stick it out. I have a. I, I, I'm, I'm coming up very quickly. If my internet works. There we go. Mm -hmm. With an alternative question for you. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Jax Teller or Tara Knowles. But I want to say Tyron because he's like. No, yeah. Tyra. She. What? Oh, Jax. What do you mean? For what purpose? Yeah, what? What do you mean? Who's better as a character? Oh, as a, as a character. As oh, a Jax. character. Jax. But for what, though? You, you, you can't just choose a character. There has to be a specific <laughs> purpose for the character. No, Jax. It depends on what. Like, Jax Teller, what? As your boyfriend? Or like as your no, obviously not as your boyfriend, Dave. <laughs> as your side, you can have him as your boyfriend, Dave. You can have him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm just saying, like if you had, like, if you character had to be development, like, maybe as 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 a dark, as a yeah, as a, as a kind of a dark force. Does 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 she get dark? Are you clearly not far? I'm not there yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, I'm giving up. <laughs> But you, that's not a fair question because when it gets bad, you actually realize something at the end of the whole series. And you guys that haven't watched it, you've got to get, get in there. on it. <laughs> you've got to get in on it. Vix, have you watched Sons of Anarchy? It's on my list to watch. <laughs> you need to just cancel everything out, Vix, and start watching it. You right, reckon? Okay, next question, next question. You need to, Vix. Music. Okay. What's the music? Um, you know? Little Rad. Which what? one? Rad, the Beatles. Right. Gina. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just had the biggest flight ever. Oh. And I was <laughs> my ribs. <laughs> and what a lunatic. We got that on Mrs. camera. Mrs. Mrs. Oh, I can't wait to watch that again. <laughs> it's gonna go viral. And she's so naughty, she fucking ran in, hit me, and then ran straight back out. <laughs> she's done that to me before. I know exactly what that feels Yo, like. She's such a little <laughs> shit. Yo, she's naughty now. Yo. Okay, Dev, would you rather? Would you rather? Now, here is the tough one. Be this is for everybody. One question. For everybody. For, for the ladies. For the ladies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you be pregnant with triplets for two years or stay in lockdown for 10? Fuck. Stay in lockdown. Your problem, Dave. <laughs> stay in lockdown. <laughs> stay in lockdown. <laughs> But not like, no, your like level five time. lockdown. Not level four, level no. five lockdown. Vix? Lockdown. Lockdown. <laughs> lockdown anytime. You know, think of all the cool stuff you can do during lockdown. Like you can actually do DIY, you can walk around your garden, you can do stuff. Being pregnant, you're limited. Mm -mm. With triplets. Thanks. Exactly. Your back's I broken. <laughs> and especially because we're so short. Ooh, and also, God, there's yeah. no time. You can't have fun. 
what are you going to be doing? You, uh, no, you know. It's, two, it's, it's only two years. Like, yeah, no, but that's I a lifetime commitment. That's, that's a lifetime commitment. Two years. Yeah. But yeah. What about the DIY for 10 years? Your DIY will be done in the first year. I'd like to be able to see my toes every morning. <laughs> <laughs> and she's close to them, Dev. Now, can you imagine if she can't see them? <laughs> this is fair. This is true. This is true. <laughs> This is true. Fair, fair, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Lockdown. And, uh, <laughs> oh Lord, Tina. Miss Tina, Tina keeps leaving us. Answer. Mm. Level five. Level five lockdown is not fun, guys. <laughs> but it's better than being pregnant for two years. <laughs> oh, Think about your cankles. Nobody wants cankles. What the fuck is that? Cankles. You, when you're when the, you don't have an ankle. ankle. When you don't have a shin. When you don't oh, have a so shin, you an just have a knee and an ankle. <laughs> and veins that Gina. pop out on your legs. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Oh. Gina's back. Gina, Gina, Gina I'm, did you get I'm, the I've got anxiety. Question? No, I'm missing all the good bits. <laughs> did you get the question? No. You'll get to watch it. But okay, so you get an answer. So you got to be you either pregnant for two years with triplets or level five <laughs> lockdown for ten years. Oh yeah, lockdown. I chose lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dev, Dev. It's like me and the pineapple <laughs> pizza, bro. Move on. <laughs> Renzo, I feel like. What do you want to start... say? Lockdown. Yeah, I obviously yep. we chose being oh, pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys <laughs> don't get it. <laughs> Devon wants to be pregnant for two years. With <laughs> and nobody, you'll be constantly gassy. No. <laughs> I don't know if you can count that as gassy. Like, it's, like, it's not like IBS. You've got fucking uh, something. Okay, I've, I've never been pregnant before. Exactly. <laughs> Neither have I, but I know these things. <laughs> yeah, but but I, have been to this. I have been in five, four weeks of level five lockdown, and that was completely shit. Are you feeling broody? No, nope. but I would rather, <laughs> rather take the burden of 20, like Why 20 years of suffering. Why the question then, Dave? Why the question? No, I don't. <laughs> Kids don't like me and they're scared of me as well, so. No, I'm, they're not. I'm scared of kids too, so. Apparently it changes when you have your own. Apparently. I have Missy and Frank, so and they're pretty cool. So the, uh, the episode title for this episode is Pregnant Hobbits. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is horrible. That is terrible. <laughs> we'll attract the wrong crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're really in trouble with the word fetish. Like, I just feel like... Mm. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Dave, it's I feel like little... it's a, one of these moments. <laughs> Yeah. Decide, 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 make the side. Listen, there's a, there's a group, there's a group of us that work together, and we spend a lot of time. And I've spoken about this before in in corporate teams, and uh, we have a, a term that we use when we come out and we go, "Fuck, that was just dwarf porn." Ooh. So that was just Ooh. what? What? Dwarf porn. <laughs> Have you heard dwarf, dwarf porn. porn? Dwarf porn. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Exactly, 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 right? So it's like I've never seen disclaimer, I've never watched or seen dwarf porn in my life. But just that thought, <laughs> like, like <laughs> it's like some of the stuff wow. we see in corporates wow. is just like Wow. What the fuck did I just see? Wow. That is hectic, Renzo. That is hectic. You you up there with Gareth Cliff, because Gareth Cliff had a, an expression that he would be like it was about Aboriginal porn. I was like, yo, that's up there, Renzo. <laughs> oh, Don't worry about this title of this video. Yeah. Mm. Yo. Gina, you're going to have to edit Gina. this. <laughs> the, title of the, the title has to be The Pineapple Express. The Pineapple Express. Oh, look, uh, the last episode we had was very pineapple uh, focused. So you're going to see it on good. Saturday morning. Oh, yeah. You're going to see. Guys, it's been swell. My phone's about to die, the battery, which means this is going to go pear shaped or pineapple shaped, mm -hmm. however. Um, 
So yes. it's been great. Thank you. Thank Love you, ladies. Chatting to you. Thank Love you. connecting to you. Thanks, Thank guys. you for your time. Yes. It's been Hopefully we're out of lockdown fun. before 2025 and we get to see each other. <laughs> Hopefully Bev's had his babies before then. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Triplets. We want triplets. Bev's triplets. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't you bring Rowan to this. This is your problem. It's your baby. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Right, guys, I run a daycare center for adults. That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. No, Dave, you see, so this true. is how can you say that? And your business is called Fetish. Mm -hmm. Just leave it alone. <laughs> That's what I'm children, saying. When I, when I get to heaven, Renzo, they're going to call me out from the back of the line. That's what they're going to do. They're going to be like, you, you, that guy. <laughs> they didn't come <laughs> forward. <laughs> Dev, come see. They're gonna you're going to have to explain. Me. You're going to have to explain. And I can see you're going to blame Stretch. Because you're going to, um, Stretch chose the name for this business. And, and God's oh, going to go. No, nope, they're going to say, you're going to say like, you know what, Dev? Remember in 2020 or like in 2013, when you open the box and they're just going to have a list of people's names there. They're going to be like, Renzo, Amanda, like all the, like, mm, just burden. Like Kaya, you put me they're like, oh. <laughs> they're going to be like, mm, just come, go straight through. Come through. Your, your house is the biggest house on the left. <laughs> so, so Dave, on that note, here's a series for you to watch. The Good Place. The Good Place. Oh, yes. That's okay. Is it, is it bad? Yeah, but, but it'll speak directly to where you think you're going. Oh, is it? Oh, no. Renzo, I'm going to heaven. Please. Okay, I'm out. Okay, thank you so uh, much, guys. Thanks, Lots of love. Bye. 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 Bye.